Hey Christchurch London, David Stroud here. Uh, I've just heard, as many of you will have done, uh, that the restrictions are tightening, that Christmas is going to look different for many of us. And I wanted to just take a couple of moments to reflect on that together at what for so many of us is going to be a challenging time. Uh, so many of us look forward to Christmas. Uh, you may, like me, pace yourself to get to Christmas. And so the news that we've heard uh, this weekend of a virus that is uh, travelling faster and infecting more people and therefore the need for changes to the restrictions and guidelines making them more severe is frankly bad news for many of us. So how should we respond? And I want to suggest a couple of things for us as individuals and I just want to make a reflection for us as a church as well. For us as individuals... I want to encourage you that whatever else happens this Christmas, that you don't get isolated. Stay in touch with others. So grateful for the benefits of social media, for Zoom and Skype, for telephones. Uh, don't forget that we can still walk, socially distance walks with one other person. Uh, don't wait for others to reach out to you. Uh, they may be waiting for you to reach out to them. Uh, take the initiative. I want to encourage you to do that. For those of us who are carrying disappointment, maybe frustration, possibly anger or grief, I want to encourage us, don't ignore those emotions, but rather go to God with them. The psalmists were always doing this. The psalms are full of this sort of thing. It's not wrong to tell God how you feel. He welcomes it. And you'll find that as we express those emotions, sometimes with tears, sometimes with anger, then we find our way to the next step, if you like, which is to trust him again. And I want to encourage us that as we spend time with others, share our emotions, that we get to a point where we trust him. Again, just as the psalmist is, what the psalmist does, whatever else is happening, I will trust you. And I want to encourage you, don't lose your trust, don't lose your hope in God this Christmas leads me on really to the thought I want to share for us as a church as we think about celebrating Christmas in a different way but I want to suggest not a less authentic way because the message of Christmas is hope in darkness. It was a very dark period that first Christmas. If you were part of the people of Israel then you were dominated, your lives were governed by the Romans. You regarded them as unclean. They shouldn't even be on your soil and yet they were ruling your lives. But it was not just a time of national humiliation but a personal challenge for Mary. She had had to travel a long way required to do so by the Romans because of a census. She's heavily pregnant. She must at least at an intuitive level have longed for a safe space to deliver or have her baby delivered. All she gets is a space with the animals. It's a dark time. Within a short period after that, Governor Herod is sending out his troops to murder every newborn boy in his attempt to throttle hope before it even gets going. And we thank God and we knew, because we know God, that that failed. And though it was years before anybody saw Jesus as the hope of the world and saw how he could change everything, Nonetheless, that first dark Christmas, God was at work bringing about hope. And that hope now has changed the world. It's changed my life. It's changed so many of our lives. And I want to encourage you, as you trust God, do not give up on hope this Christmas. That hope, in the way the Bible uses it, is a sure, a strong, a certain thing. I want to encourage you, hope. In God this Christmas that he will sustain you whatever the challenges you face that he will sustain your loved ones whatever challenges they face. I want to encourage you to join me in hoping that God will be at work maybe silently and quietly but in the lives of hundreds of thousands of people in this nation as they think about the big questions of life and begin to seek him. And I wonder too whether you'd join me in hoping that 2021 will be a year of God's blessing. Whatever else happens, 
that you will know God's blessing in your life, that we will know God's blessing together, and that our city, London, our nation would know God's blessing as well. I hope these few thoughts, these few moments, encourage you and strengthen you to trust and to hope this Christmas period. Philippa joins me in sending our love to you. We are praying for you. We're thinking of you. It's not even Christmas, but we're looking forward beyond Christmas to being back together again in the new year and trusting God together for the outworking of his plans and his love for our nation. In the meantime, God bless you. Stay safe. Trust him. Be full of hope. We look forward to being together again very soon. God bless you.